Well, hello, hello, Young and the Restless Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for uh, Monday, uh, November the 25th, all the way through Wednesday, November the 27th. Uh, the Young and the Restless will have Thursday and Friday off. They played the scenes for next week at the end of Wednesday's episode. So I thought I'd go ahead and drop this recording because I'm going to be busy all the way through the weekend. All right, let's get it started. Billy is having dinner, a breakfast with uh, Victor at the GCAC after they left the house. Why? But of course, who comes down the stairs? He's so jealous of Sally and, and Billy. I may have said Billy sees Sally, but it was Adam that sees Sally and Billy and he can't stop looking at him. And Victor looks and he goes, don't, don't pay any attention to them. Get them out of your mind, <laughs> you know? And Adam's just, oh, Billy is just this and he's gonna, and uh, Victor said, Adam, don't play into that game. Sally was not right for you anyway. You are, are repairing your family. You're helping your family, you know, thrive, Connor heal. You and Chelsea are better suited. And Adam is like, but blah, blah, blah. He goes, listen, but nothing. Let, let's don't, don't even. And see uh, Billy and Sally uh, go to a table kind of in that corner area. And then Sally's just laughing loud and <laughs> yeah, everything is so, so funny. And boy, was that getting under Adam's skin. So he calls the waiter over and tells them, take them one of your finer bottles of champagne over there and let them know it's from me. So Victor looks at him and goes, well, okay, that's kind of well played. Okay, but you know, so the waiter brings the champagne and Billy says, oh, I'm sorry, we didn't order that. He goes, no, but the gentleman, Mr. Adam Newman did and he wanted, you know, you to have it. And so Billy said, well, in that case, if Adam paid for it, you can take it away and turned his head and it was sitting there. And I think Sally notices the label. She goes, oh, this is pretty expensive. We're going to enjoy this. <laughs> so now they having the drinks on uh, Adam and it finally gets under Adam's skin enough. He just leaves. So Victor has the nerve to want to walk over there to their tape. See, who does he think he is? I see you both haven't lost any time, you know, getting in a, re moving on, getting in a relationship. And Billy said, you know what, Victor, it's none of your business what I do, period. And who I do it with. So you go ahead and enjoy your short-lived victory with Abbott Chancellor. And Billy said something else flip it. And Victor's like, well, you two deserve each other. Have a nice day. Victor loves the end, the dismissal of have a nice day. Like, you know what? Your suit looks hideous on you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Victor. Oh my God. You know? So um Sally's like, Psh, and keeps right on flowing with it the punches because she hadn't had a piece in months and boy Billy hit the spot right so uh that was pretty much oh Michael goes to see Phyllis she reams him when she finds out that he is representing Sharon I mean she reams him okay because he's supposed to be her friend. He goes, this woman has terrorized my family. She was terrorizing them for months. She killed the woman my son loved, Lucy's mother. My family will never be the same. And she almost killed me. And Michael's like, but there's no evidence of that. She goes, oh my God. Oh, she freaks out. She goes, I know she did. Just like there was no evidence when I was telling everybody Sharon killed Heather. 
Oh, nobody would listen. Well, look, I was right. And I'm right about this too. But I told you, I think I, I mentioned this. Phyllis, while she was talking to Michael, before he left, I don't think I told you because I just, just recorded this. She had a scene in her head to where Sharon was texting, texting. Oh my God, Sharon, stop it. She's throwing the phone now. She's doing this, that, and the other. And she had just received a text message when the other, she saw the head, looked up and saw the headlights of the car coming at her. So she's thinking, how could Sharon do that that fast if she's texting me and or the headlights were too big or, or high, kind of like a, a truck? And if Sharon drives a car, so maybe it was like an SUV. I don't know. Either way, Phyllis kind of has some doubts, but she's not going to say anything. She's not going to say anything at all, right? So um, we have it's Thanksgiving Day. And of course, Claire agrees to work with Vicky, Nick, Nikki at um, Chancellor. And I can't wait for them to change the name back to Chancellor. They'll probably do something like Chancellor Industry Powered by Newman. <laughs> something, I don't know, right? Let's see. Let's see. Chancellor Newman. Oh, no. You want to honor Catherine's wishes? Keep it Chancellor. Keep it simple, right? So they, oh, and I'm loving Melody's new haircut. Snazzy. I remember when she cut her hair years before. I love it when she cut snazzy and she looking good. Looking looking young, right? Um, wow. Even when they had the kids over for Thanksgiving dinner, she had it, it was kind of fingered, waved going back, and oh, she looks so cute. Um, but anyway, Claire agreed, you know, and then Billy's giving Claire an earful of you know the way they treated lily and this that and the other you better watch out because you're gonna be next you can't tr oh she just going on and on and nikki is like you know what billy uh what are you doing here for one he goes i'm what does it look like i'm packing up my desk and before they got there jill called now jill that woman she's like stop ignoring me so she, he calls her or, or yeah, he calls her on the little tele, the computer and he puts it on the big screen and she goes, finally, I hear from you. And he goes, you know, you, 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 you were wrong. You have time to change this. She goes, no, I don't. The deal is done. And he's like, you had no faith in me. And she goes, no, I wanted to, ask. she said the same thing. I don't know why Jill was wanting to talk to him so bad the only thing she was doing was saying i still made the right choice you were running the company into the ground you know you were making bad decisions and he goes but i rectified everything you told me she goes but you're not getting the point billy is that you you were making them and i what i'm going through i cannot be worried about the company and what she's saying, and he's, Billy is just Billy. See, he made the decision. Well, Lily was trying to sabotage me. She goes, but you still could have handled it differently. I'm thinking, well, I don't know how, but okay, right? But the decisions that Billy makes, he still were going to make the wrong ones thinking they were right. And ultimately, Jill would be right. You know, Billy just, he, he, Billy is Billy. He tries, but then he it goes to his head and then he just can't function right. So anyway, he ends up pretty much, well then look, if that's all you had to say, bye. Click, he puts the, the, the lid down on her and takes her off. And that's when Nikki walks in. What are you doing here? And he's, she goes, we have someone that could pack your stuff up and send it to you. And he's, his box was done pretty much. Um, but then he told, give, gave Claire an earful. And once he left, Nikki took her coat off and she was behind her desk. And Claire, she told Claire, I'm sorry you had to hear that. 
and Claire's like, is what he said true? You know, it, did you really, did you all really deceive Lily, making her believe that, you know, you were going to give her her position back? She goes, ultimately, yes. She goes, now, I wanted Lily, she's very talented. I wanted her to work with me. But see, here, here's the deal. No, she didn't. She wanted her to work for her. She goes, but Lily wanted the CEO position. And we had other plans. She goes, Victor has a plan that Lily should work with her, her family. And so Claire is just looking. She goes, now, I hope in time Lily forgives me. You know, um, but... This company was my best friend's company. And I plan to honor her, honor her, you know? And so Claire says, she goes, now, is this going to deter you? And Claire says, no, I would love to be mentored by you. I know I can earn, uh, learn a lot. Because Claire hadn't said yes until they got to the office. Nikki just says, can you accompany on my first day? I want you there. So she told Nikki, no, you know what? I may not agree with your methods that you and Victor used, but I hear your vision. I hear why you want to do this. So yes, I will work with you. I would love for you to be my mentor. So Nikki is happy about that. And then now the next day is Thanksgiving day. They're having, uh, Nick was there, Vicky, Cole, and Claire came in, and at Adam, Chelsea Connor came. Um, and Nikki, that's she had her hair fingered. Oh, she looked so cute. Um, and I thought Connor's the only kid they're gonna show. Watch. So Nikki gives Cle uh, um Chelsea and Connor a tour. And Connor says, um, me and Johnny are supposed to play a game, but one of our video games, but I don't see him. And so they said, oh, no, no, no. Johnny and Katie and Christian that we haven't seen Christian in years, they're down at the stables with the horses. And he goes, can I join him, mom? And she goes, sure, sure, honey. And so summer was summer. That's the one I forgot. Summer was there. As she was leaving because she was going to have, uh, she was going to be with Daniel and Lucy. They were going to take uh, uh, Phyllis turkey sandwiches to the hospital. So they were going to spend Thanksgiving with Phyllis. So she goes, well, listen, Connor, I'm getting ready to leave. Let me walk you to the stables. You know, so she walks him out. And of course, we never saw the kids ever. And Claire talk to Victor and Victor says, um, I hear you had some reserves, you know, about the way I acquired Chancellor. She goes, yes, I did. You know, I, I would like to have things to have been more, more honest where Lily is concerned. Cause she's like, I grew up with enough of this cutthroat, you know, just hate, but Victor's not ha hate unless it's Jack. Right. Um, she said, he said, and then he told her about being an orphanage and everything's for family and blah, blah, blah. So after he smoothed her over, she goes, you know, she goes, I may not, dis may not agree with how you, what you and Nikki went about getting the company, but I now hear, you know, and, and, and I'm now understanding your vision and he, you know, why you do the things that you do. He says, she says, but people have a choice. And what I'm seeing from you is you don't want people to choose for themselves. She's like, he goes, well, no, no. In Lily Winter's case, she will be better working at with her family. And he says, but that was still her choice. She's old enough to make those, you know, she's an adult. An adult should be able to choose. That's what I'm saying. So he kind of, yeah, okay, man, you know, Victor's Victor, right? Because I still don't see Lily working with her brother. I still don't see it.
But isn't it funny? Lily still won't have an idea to run her open, run her own company. She won't. The only company she had was before she went to jail and it had to do with fashion. And she was good at it. Wasn't mega, but she was good at it. So anyway, um, that's it. Nothing else earth shattering happened um, at all. It was just the, going into Thanksgiving and, and that's it. You know, I had a thought on Ian because it's like, why would he want to go after Sh uh, Sharon? And why kill Heather? And I, I wasn't really watching or paying attention to the Young and the Rest. Remember, I said Young and the Rest this came out a little later for me. I was a general hospital, all my children kind of girl. Was Heather the one who prosecuted Cameron? Because I honestly believe Cameron is going to be his son. Was Heather the one that sent Cameron to jail all of those years? Is that why Ian is has revenge on her? Or perhaps Cameron and, and Ian were in the same cell. You know, maybe they were cellmates. And there's going to be a Cameron Kirsten tie-in. I honestly believe that. So let's go to comment corner. And, and Heather, there's going to be a, yeah. Sharon and Heather, there's a tie-in for some reason. So let's go to comment corner, comment corner. Uh, Claire says, why is Ian uh, wanting revenge on Sharon? What happened between those two? So did Ian switch Sharon's meds for months? Um, I am so sick of Jordan's character. Me too, God. How these people keep escaping from prison. I believe Summer really wants to break up with Chance, regardless of his mistakes with Sharon's case. She wants Kyle back. I think Chance and Claire will end up together. Ugh. Denzel says, Daily Recaps Lady Breaking News, Chad Duvall, who played the third Michael Corinthos, is leaving General Hospital since <coughs> 2010, 14 years ago. He made his announcement today on social media that he's leaving the show um, and they don't, I hope they don't kill him off um, and he leaves for, don't kill him off or he leaves for Charles for good. Do not recast him. Just let, uh, just letting you know right now, daily recap lady. Thank you so much for letting me know that Denzel I definitely, definitely read that too. And I'm hoping they just recast the character because Michael is a staple, stable character on the show and he should not go. And let Christ Christina could go, right? Before Mike, Michael. Um, and then Denzel also says, I'm sorry, Billy Boy and Sally don't have nothing in common <laughs> and don't have no connection uh, compared to her and Adam. And then... Both just hit the beds and the sheets together. Uh, then, all right, that Adam saw both Sally and Billy kissing and talking, uh, too, when he was having uh, lunch with his pops, Victor, uh, to, yeah, I can't wait for that. Uh, the look and reaction on Adam's face, too, definitely. I, what, too, I definitely can't wait for the drama to be about Adam who slept with Chelsea. So it's payback, I guess. I'm so tired of Sharon, crybaby self, um, owning up for her actions, even though she had been framing, <laughs> she had been framed by, by the return Jordan and Ward. But yeah, Sharon ain't gonna be locked up for long anyway, that's true. Uh, when Victor and Adam was waiting for Nick, to come into the ranch house uh, to talk about Sharon. Then Nick asking Victor, what was Adam doing there? Um, here, some bully, wait, here in some bully mean way. Uh, I'm like, wait, I'm like I thought both Adam and Nick were good. Um, but anyways, nothing that Victor said uh, to Nick about Sharon was fact, which is true. Well, no, she did burn down that house, but it was in the past, uh, though. Uh, but Nick is always going to shine, be the sh knight in shining armor. Uh, not surprised there, but nothing then, but nothing then I can't, 
care, didn't care for the rest of the scene. Great daily recap. Chance was the, uh, Anita says, Chance was only following the horrible script, poor writing. Anita says, daily recap, lately, I never cared for the pairing of Chance and Summer. I did not either. They lacked any type of on-screen chemistry, none. Do you notice that's why they had no real sex scenes with them? Because there was just nothing there. Um, he see, cause see, in, in reality, Chance is much older than Summer. It just, ugh. uh, Denzel says, well, I'm not even surprised that Summer wants to take a break from Chance because he did arrest her brother, Daniel, uh, for and framed by Phyllis, even though Jordan and the other guy, uh, named Ian Ward was the one behind the whole framing uh, Sharon thinking, yeah, he was. They are. Uh, she killed Heather and the car accident by Phyllis. So I don't blame Summer for being mad at Chance. He's the dumbest <laughs> GCPD. <laughs> yes, he is. Um, Y'all watch Summer and Kyle will be, will be back together again. My guess is by Summer. Yet again, yeah, by this summer, they'll be back together again. Uh, yet again, which I don't. Wait, I don't at all like Kyle and Claire. I don't either. Together, but knowing Josh, he's gonna ruin the couple. Also, so I so then Victor will also hate him. Oh, another another Abbott broke my granddaughter's heart. Uh, so I don't uh have no faith in Josh Griffin and the Young and the Restless uh, writers too. Not surprising that Jack didn't bring uh didn't bring back his brother. No. To Jabot, Kyle is still upset with both his parents, Jack and Diane. Um, at all, just let uh let them build their business anyway. Just saying, great review, uh, daily recap as always. I forgot to mention Diane at the Thanksgiving table made this grand grand gesture, telling Kyle that she's not going to return to her role in Jabot, and she was offering that see her role, her CEO co-CEO job to Kyle, um, which is the job he should have had to begin with. And Kyle was just dumbfounded, like, you know, sad. My whole thing is, you going to offer your, there's the, the head man, Jack is in charge of the company, but I'm going to give my CEO position to you. Oh, okay, does it work that way? Wow. Anyway, all right, that's it for the three days of the Young and the Restless this week. I will be back next weekend for the recap of the following week, 1st of December.